Hi everyone, and today we're going to be doing an experiment on clouds, those wonderful fluffy things that we see in the sky. My name is Phil and this is my space, but the great thing about what you'll see today is that you can do this at home with some help from those around you. All you're going to need for this is a jar with a lid, you're going to need some ice, you're going to need some hot water, so get help with that. And you're also going to need some hairspray. First thing first is we're going to take our jar and we're going to add some hot water to it. Now get help with this. It needs to be pretty hot, not boiling, but get help with this from some of responsible adult. We're going to put our, our lid on top of that and then we're going to take some ice and we're going to put that on top of the jar. As you've got hot liquid, the steam is coming up off it. It's rising up because you know things that are hot are less dense, they're lighter than things that are cold. And as they go up and it rises up, as it meets something that's cold on the top, it condenses or turns back into a liquid. So if you imagine or think about what fogs up in your bathroom, usually the glass or the mirrors, and that's because they're cold surfaces. So you've got this hot air transporting all of this water vapor around, Cold air can't hold on to water vapor. It's only when it hits a cold surface. So that's exactly what's happening here. However, cold air doesn't have anything that the, the water particles that are generated from this heat can latch onto. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some particles or bits in this space, in this air, to allow those water particles to latch onto. So if I take some hairspray and I take this out, and I give a couple of quick squirts and close it back down, and we'll see, we should see that with these air currents, we should start to see a cloud, we can see it already, a cloud forming. And what you'll see is that the hot air is lifting and generating those water particles that are gonna start attaching to the bits of hairspray in this air in the middle, and it's gonna start forming a cloud. You'll need to leave the hot water and the ice initially for about 20 seconds, and then after that, you take off the lid, put in the hairspray, and then wait for another few seconds. But what you can see now, this is so cool. You can actually see there is a layer of cloud right here in the middle. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the lid off and see how our cloud is. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. So what we've done in a jar is created a cloud. It's the same thing that's happening up in the sky. How cool is that? It's the same kind of science. Now another way that you can create a cloud rather quickly is by using a couple of these. Now this, this is a normal foot pump. Uh, we have a water bottle and we have actually some, it's actually an alcohol, an ethanol, which is a type of chemical that evaporates really, really quickly. What evaporates means is when a liquid turns into a gas. So we've added a little bit of the ethanol, the alcohol inside this, and by swirling it around, it's evaporating really quickly, but that vapor is still inside, so it makes this happen a little bit quicker. And what we're gonna do is we are going to attach this normal foot pump, which is like a foot pump you use to pump your bike or a football, into it. Now I have a connection to it here. You can make one of these yourself with a, a valve, like a football friend sometimes call it, or a valve and a, and a cork. I have one of these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, by pumping, a little bit more air into it. And what I want you to do is if you can imagine that this bottle is like the room that you're in right now. And if in the room you're in right now, you added 10 more people into it, do you think it would get hotter or colder? Probably hotter if there was 10 more people. So if we add in, so there's more and more air going inside and it's getting hotter and hotter and the pressure, the amount of stuff that's in here is starting to push out. So if we added another 10 people into your room, would it get hotter or colder? Hotter again. So there's now even hotter and we're pumping more and more. So the temperature and the pressure are getting higher and higher. Now watch your fingers while you're using the pump. And also, you're the only thing holding the top bit in, so don't let it fly off and hit you in the face. Oh, this is getting harder to pump. Uh, uh, uh. So we've built up temperature and pressure inside, and if we look at this really, really closely, <laughs> we have created our own cloud in a bottle with pressure, temperature, a foot pump. 
and a little bit of vapor in the air. And that's all that's happening up in the sky above us. It's hot and cold meeting each other and moving around and water being moved in that process. So when you look up at a cloud now, you'll know that there's some really simple science behind it. And you can make your own version of this at home. So what I'd love to see is let's delve into this science a little bit more. Some of you take bigger jars, some of you take smaller jars, compare them make sure that you use a fizzy drinks bottle because it's been designed for pressure and it's clear so you can see into it. Be safe, try things out, but write it down, record and communicate. Tell somebody about what you've done. That's how we all get along and how we learn more from science. Try it out and get onto rte.ie forward slash learn and share your news with us and try to look fabulous while doing it.